I'll never forgive you, father. You'll pay for this injury. The way you scarred me. <laughs> Who's there? Who are you? I have something for you. For me? This. It's yours, right? <sighs> this belonged to you 16 years ago before it was torn off your neck. I don't know what you're talking about. You're mistaken. The picture. It's your mother, isn't it? She looks like a kind, gentle woman. I told you, you're mistaken! Why are you so upset? Is it because your father threw you off that cliff? What? I looked all over for you. I was terrified, but I climbed down that slippery cliff alone, hoping you were still alive. I tried to get some adults to help me, but none of them would listen to me. I waded through the water to find where you had fallen. I searched down there for days. And now, nearly 16 years later, I find out that you're still alive and you've made it back up that cliff. But look at you! Your hatred for your father has been consuming you since that day. I feel nothing but a cold spirit in you, just like a devil. You don't know anything! <gasps> the pain from this injury has stayed with me. When I was climbing that cliff, I came close to losing consciousness many times. The only thought that kept me going was the chance I'll get to have revenge on my father. Ever since that time, I knew that getting revenge was the strongest reason for living I'll ever have. I swore that nothing would ever stop me, and I willingly sold my soul to the devil. But that's wrong! You shouldn't live your life solely for revenge against your father! And you shouldn't live your life for empty ideologies! This man is strong. His spirit is quite overwhelmingly powerful. 